Alright guys, welcome back to more Nino Kuni. Now, off camera, I did a lot of training as you can probably tell from the familiars and Oliver's HP. <laughs> now, what I did, I was actually training outside of town and then usually when I would run low on MP, I would run back in, use the end and heal, go back out, rinse, repeat. And those enemies were pretty damn tough, man. There was a couple of times when I almost got a, a couple of game overs. I didn't get game overs, but there was a couple of times where I almost died. Like, them dudes was tough. I mean, at this point, I think we need a second ally. Like, it's getting ridiculous. Like, dude, this dude was cast. One of the enemies cast it stalagmite, and it hit you multiple times, and it did massive damage. Like, it was ridiculous. And I almost died straight off the bat. But anyway, I was leveling up familiars, too. And pretty much what I did was actually feed them, feed them their favorite food. Not favorite food, but yeah, I guess you can say that. His is, his is, I think, chocolate. His is uh, ice cream. And his is, I think, cake. Pretty much if you feed them their favorite food, their, their familiarity or whatever you call that shit, <laughs> that it boosts up and their, their growth limit. Like I had assumed earlier, would uh, the the growth limit would actually increase. So instead of just having ten growth limit, it can now go up to twenty, which is pretty dope. But anyway, on to our next quest. We got to go back to I believe Motorville, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty damn sure it's Silly Sally. What? Wait. Oh, no, I said Silly Sally. I meant to say Starry Mary. What What did I get Silly Sally from? <laughs> silly Sally? <laughs> what? How does that even relate to this game? Who? Where did I even get that name from? Who knows? Maybe I'm just high. So where to start the search, eh? You remember how this works, ain't it, Ollie Boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around by here is someone who's similar to young Esther in somewhere. Now, what girls do you know? G girls I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. <laughs> Cracky, well, that's no good, is it? How are we going to do this then? Well, I'm sure there's someone she reminds me of. Can't quite put your finger on it, is it? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll. Man, I already know. Oliver is so dense, man. He's so slow. Now, let's go find... Silly Sally. <laughs> Silly Sally. I'm pretty sure her name is uh, Mary. But they call her Starry Mary because she just stares at you. Supposedly. Hey, it's a Mexican kid. We talk. Growing flowers sure isn't easy, but they're so pretty when they open up in their petals to say hi. Hi, petals. Hi. Oh, look at this dude. If you ever get into any trouble again, let me know. I'll be there in a jiffy. Look at this dude. Hitting on this woman. I came here to fix your pipes, if you know what I mean. Huh, huh, huh. So you gotta let me in or what? <laughs> Alright, time to move on. Like, this game is just... It... <laughs> it's emitting so... It's so... Ooh, it's a feel good ass spirit. That's what I can feel from this game right now. I can't explain it. You can't. Exp I can't explain my feelings, but it's so good. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Off, woof, go. <laughs> What's wrong with this dog, man? I'm pretty sure this dog is gonna have something to do in one of the other worlds. Cause his, his name turned. To a, uh, a, a mystery mark. You see, like it, his name was clear in the beginning of the game, but now it hides its name. I'm gonna go look back at an older video. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look back in an older video and see what that dog's name was. I'm pretty sure that was a hint. That dog's gonna be someone else in the other world. Any money? Hey, I just thought, what's up, man? You having a nice time thinking about girls? Is it? <laughs> Oh no, I just, well that too, but anyway, when I used to come into Phil's garage, there was a girl, she was always looking at us from her window. From her window, eh? Sounds like a proper shrinking violet. <laughs> I guess so. That's the window up there. 
That's her, Mr. Drippy. Flipping heck, Oliver. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's the spitting image of her mom. Of who? Who's you flipping thing? You blockhead? The great sage's daughter, ain't it? That's one who's obviously her flipping soulmate. It's that obvious. I never noticed. You should have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She was only in the window for a second. Oliver, you're so slow. It's, well, I, I guess it makes sense. He's a 13-year-old boy. He doesn't have the developed mind of a young man like me. The genius behind everything you've seen on this channel. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But let's go knock on uh, Stary Mary's door. Are we going to barge in? Okay, nice. We're going to knock. Hmm? It's no good. There's no answer. Is something the matter, dude? There's no one home, you know. What? I'm pretty sure I've seen a woman up there. I've seen a girl. I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Mit Mitro. Oh, you poor dear. You must have be awfully worried about it. She must be sick. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going so well for Myrtle. I'm going to call her Myrtle's. So well for Myrtle's family lately. How come? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Well, he's bringing in a lot of money, so I don't see the problem. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a devoted father. But something has happened to him. He's changed. I hear him shouting at them through the wall. Whoa! So abuse, is it? I don't know how poor Betty copes. Let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Betty is. That's right. Dear, she's Rusty's wife. And she's every bit as devoted to him as she always was. Why, only this month I heard her promise her to bring his lunch down to him at the garage. All the love she pours into those sandwiches. It's enough to break your heart. Well, I'm welling up just thinking about it. Such a kind soul. Poor, poor Betty. Betty White. I have half a mind to tell that rusty cartwork just how lucky he is. Jeepers. Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ign uh, ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. You sure are. Say hello to Myrtle for me, won't you? Well, if she answers the door, I sure will. Crikey, sounds like things are none too rosy in the Cartwheel household, eh? Hey, Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. That's easier said than done, Ollie Boy. She's not coming out for a chat, and we're not getting in unless we go m magic in the door open. You're right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. And I'm the only one who can go in and then speak to her. Wait, so, so Oliver can use magic in this world, too. I wonder if... Huh, I wonder if magic exists in this world. I mean, if Oliver can use magic here, other people probably can use magic here. When mom died, I... If you hadn't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why we have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left staring out of her window forever, all alone, forever alone. <laughs> That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering in my book. Let's get in there. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Drippy. Let's do this. So I'm guessing spring lock. Open this bitch up. We coming in. It won't open. What the? That's proper weird. A rubbish little lock like that should have popped undone easy peasy. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? It's this door, man. There's an evil power protecting your spell didn't fail. It was repelled by a malevolent force. What the? Must be the girl, ain't it? She's the soulmate of a sage daughter, after all. So she's the one that locked her heart, right? You think so? What do we do? I'll tell you what we don't do. Carry on things trying to get in by the front door. It's not exactly polite just barging into people's houses anyway. You're right. I guess we'll have to find some other way. Jeez, now what do we do? Find a girl who looks like Rashad's daughter. What the hell? Did we try to sneak in from the back? Oh, it's an invisible wall over there. I seen a dude walk from the house. That was pretty dope. I liked how they had, like, movement over there. Even though you can't... Whoa, it's that girl again. She was just running. Hey, P. What's going on, Ollie boy? Maybe P's knows something. 
What the flipping heck's going on? It's third world magic. Only Oliver can see her. And give me one second, guys. I just need to check something. Okay. I gotta keep flipping back and forth to see if Audacity is recording my audio. Because sometimes it'll just flip and stop. I don't know why. Oliver, you have to go in there. How do I do it? I just try spring lock. It's open. What the? How the flip? Did you do another spare on it or something? Oh, it wasn't me. It was P. What the hell is this girl? Just who is she? Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, Mon. Yeah, what's up? I'm just breaking who in the you? houses. My name is Oliver. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm, a kid from right <laughs> I'm here not crazy. <laughs> just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. What? Sickle cell? So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Whoa! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? How can she hear him? Uh, uh, I... I Wait. bet you think I'm weird, don't you? She is the, the no. daughter of a sage, too, I so don't. yeah. Who knows? It's okay. I don't mind. You should go. Before my father comes home. <laughs> uh. Oi, come here a sec. What the hell can we do? This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean? Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. People love calling me during recording sessions. So that shit is now off. So anytime the phone rings, I can see it glow, but I ain't gonna pick it up. And if it's important, I'll pick it up. But anyway, let's return back to Nino Kuni. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn. You can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dad. Hmm. Doesn't she what go to it? school? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Myrtle. Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. Screw your father. You should leave. But Myrtle... That's some good music. You heard the music that was playing during that cutscene? That was pretty epic. It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy is almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Ain't it though? They could be twins, man. I knew they were so most the moment I laid eyes on her. Soulmates. But she ain't broken hearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. It must be her parents. Her family is. It's, if that old gossip is to be believed, yeah, it sounds like her folks ain't getting too well. But our family squabbles really the kind of thing we want to get mixed up in, Ollie Boy? True. Maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. Family is important. It's everything. Well, since you put it like that, go on then. Let's help the poor dab out. Next stop, Rusty Shop. Let's go talk some sense into this motherfucker. We're going to thug him. We're going to be thugging with our red capes, man. Thugging with our red capes. <laughs> Alright, maybe we ain't gonna do all that, man, but we're gonna calm down and have a talk with this Rusty. We're gonna analyze the situation real quick. You better make sure you have it good and ready before you go in. Okay, Mr. Drippy. Alright, he might he wants me to save it. I, well, I trained enough, so just in case we have to fight someone here, that'd be weird to fight inside our world. That'd be weird. Anyway, let's go in. Let's do this. Oh, he's possessed. 
It's a shadow. Look at that. This must be Rusty's garage, Holly Boy. And that must be him over there. I guess so, huh? Excuse me, sir. Are you Myrtle's father? I came in to ask about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid. What's the swirl? What's that swirling around him? No, he can't be. Hello. Darling. <laughs> honey, I brought you some lunch. Not this again. I'm not hungry. But honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. I told your ass I ain't hungry, bitch. Oh, snap. What is your problem? Okay, honey, just look after yourself, please. Man, if she was a black woman, dude would have got the shit beat out of him. <laughs> oh, so that was Myrtle's mom, huh? You too. Get out of here before I throw you out. Make me. Make me. Damn. What's up with those eyes? Broken as heck his heart is. He's heartbroken, but he's not from your world, Mr. Drippy. Let's worry about that later. For now, we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart. How the hell do we go about doing that? A flipping nightmare? Now we're good. Well, now we're in for it. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? Nah, my much was a nightmare is an evil spirit that latches onto his bro broken on. Latches onto the broken heart. See that black misty stuff? That's how you know. The mist is getting darker. That mean, can only mean one thing. It ain't good news. Whoa! My first nightmare, huh? Oh shit. What is that? Rusty's nightmare, void of kindness. <laughs> void of kindness is right. <laughs> Cause there was not kindness in his heart. There was no kindness. Right, who should we start off with? Let's start off with Zabumafu and Sharpener. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Defend! Woo! Defended just in time. This dude looks like a heartless man. <laughs> a go Ouch! You douche! Supercharge! You just activated my trap card! Slash dance! It's not gonna take the rest of his life points though. <laughs> 131, nice. Dude, what are those balls of light? I don't think I want to touch them. I don't think I'm supposed to touch them. Alright, so Hero is pretty good for this fight. I want to see uh, Oliver's... I want to see Oliver's uh, miracle. Move. There we go. Let's do this. Activate Burning Heart! With this magic card, I shall do massive damage to your life force directly! 161! It's over, Nightmare! Fireball! <laughs> oh man, I gotta watch Yu-Gi-Oh! over again. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! We so did it! Yes, man. Level 1 Up made that fight a lot smoother than it was, man. Honey! What'd you do? Betty, stay away from me. His heart is still broken. Of course it is. We only got rid of the nightmare, Mom. Mending his heart is a whole nother problem. Mr. Drippy, these nightmares, just what are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties, only they're born from broken hearts and they latch onto them, sort of possess them, okay. And Shadar is behind the nightmares too? 
Look at him, Ali, but him and Rashid, Rashad are like peas from the same pod. What Shadda's done is he's got the better of Rashad over the Narwar by attacking his soulmate over here. Oh, that's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now. This look like it, and if we don't mend his heart, he might get taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out. You saw what he was like before. It's pretty obvious that he's missing a man-sized helping of kindness. <laughs> kindness, G. Anyone overflowing with the milk of human kindness. His wife is has a lot of kindness, it looks like. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I should be in this game. I should be Oliver. Man, level 5, Studio Ghibli should have just had me. Just had me. They should have just took my likeness and put it in this game as the main character instead of Oliver, man. I guess so. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, why? You're, you're Ali's son. Yes, that's right. I have something to ask you. Miss Cartwright, could I borrow a little of your kindness? I'm sorry, dude. I don't think I quite... I needed to make Mr. Cartwell better. Please, I need it so that I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stands even the smallest chance of helping my husband, then sure, I'll do it. Thank you, Miss Cartwright. Alright, let's take her hot. Nice. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. I like how it's like this cerulean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Cerulean uh, badge from Pokemon. What did you do? I feel almost warm inside. Tidy, that means it works. Now give it to Rusting. That is a good lad. Uh, I guess they were a match made in heaven. Right, calm down, Drippy. I got this. I'm controlling Oliver, alright? With me behind the controller, you got nothing to worry about, bro. Let's give him enthusiasm. <laughs> I wonder what would happen. What would happen if we gave him enthusiasm? And my controller is on the wonks, man. Like, I'll push left once and it'll go right or something. It's so confused. I need to buy a new controller. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Addy, oh honey. Addy, what am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty, you're looking very handsome yourself, honey. It was mar marital bliss. Uh, there is lovely. Excuse me, uh. What did you think you were doing? This is no time to be interrupting. Let's leave them and <laughs> tell Mar Myrtle everything's back to normal with her folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go. Let's talk to him real quick. This feeling, this warmth, I've forgotten what it was like. Thank goodness, my husband is back at long last. Well, it's pretty much a done deal. They're they're about to have sex, so let's leave. So let's go back to Myrtle, <laughs> Myrtle's place, and uh, let her know everything's gonna be all right. So she has nothing to say about it. She has nothing wrong. She shouldn't be complaining. She has nothing to be sad about. Is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Oliver, what is it? Well, uh, if my father sees you, he'll marry me. Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I, I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Why'd you let this boy in this house? Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart... I am so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess... Maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here... Maybe it was me. Father... You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. The <laughs> Look at Jimmy. We wouldn't be a family anymore. No one's gonna notice the flying invisible hat? Okay. That's why you... why you were... 
Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. Oliver, fixing family affairs since 1991. Please, Please forgive me. Oh, I do. <laughs> Look Daddy, at Drippy. I do. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. <laughs> Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Of course. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Yeah, you see this? Left foot, right foot. <gasps> she did it! Brutal! You can walk again! I did it! Oliver, I did it! I'm outside! I'm outside! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oliver now has a oh, girlfriend. Oh, that's beautiful. Myrtle will now die for you in battle. Awesome. <laughs> Oliver, thank you so much. What, no social link? No social link. I'm happy for you, Myrtle. Where's my social links, man? I can't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again and meet new people and buy new clothes. I wonder how long she's been missing school. It's so strange. I was so scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Listen to her, Ma. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you could shake a stick at. I feel... I can feel it from all the way over here. So we need to take her courage and give it to the other... Her counterpart. Her soulmate. Ah! Is something the matter, Oliver? Myrtle, I know a girl who's just like you. She's going through the some through some something terrible, huh? You're so brave. I wanted to know if you'll give me some of that courage of this girl to help her and to help her family. Of course, but how do we do that? We use magic, and I know just the spell. Magic, you're an interesting boy, Oliver. That's why you're my husband. Like what? But sure, go ahead. What are you talking about, Myrtle? Anyway. Close your eyes. <laughs> like this? Uh, let's take heart. Alright. And Drippy was breakdancing over there. You obtained some courage. It feels warm. My tot, it feels warm. That means the magic word. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friends and family... Or, excuse me, now my friend can finally start to get better. I'm glad. Right, oh, Oliver. We got some courage to deliver, ain't it? Let's get going. Sure. Myrtle, I have to go now. Wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle. I will. See you soon, Oliver. She's seen Drippy. She heard what Drippy said, though. Can she see Drippy, too? Thank you so much, Oliver. I can feel like I could do anything now. I want to understand why she seen or she was able to hear um, Drippy. So anyway, I guess we should be getting back to the other world, shouldn't we? All right. So we pretty much rescued her, saved her father, defeated the nightmare. It was all... It's all good. It was a good day, I can say. It was a good day. We, we did some good deeds today. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and save it right now. And then I'm going to take a short break. And once we return, we will be back with more of the other world. So I will see you guys later.